Assalamu alaikum. This is the quick demonstration of DroneNet. We have implemented DroneNet with a few minor modifications. Uh, DroneNet is one of the best works done in uh, robotics and perception. This is done by the robotics and perception group at ETS Zurich. So DroneNet is basically a CNN which allows a drone to safely drive through the streets of a city. So it's basically a CNN which produces two output for a single input image, a straining angle to keep the drone navigating while avoiding obstacles, and a collision probability to let the UAV recognize dangerous situations. Okay. So as you can clearly see in this image, this is the activation map. This is basically what the drone sees. So it can clearly see these lines. Uh, and even in the indoor environment, it considers boundaries as lines, and it tends to follow them. And uh, this is the collision probability, so it computes the uh, a velocity for a collision probability. So if the collision prob probability is high, the velocity reduces. I recommend everyone to read this paper, uh, even non-experts. It's uh, very easy to read because it doesn't have lots of technical terms. Uh, everything is available on their website from their code to the collision data set to the weights. Everything is available. You can play around with everything. They give complete guide on how to install. So of course you need to have ROS installed, you need to build your workspace, you need to have a workspace. Uh, the most important part of this is you need to have a Bebop drone. So you need to have Bebop autonomy set up, which is basically controlling Bebop through ROS. And then finally you need to follow the steps to install the DroneNet Perception and DroneNet Control package. So DroneNet Perception package is the package which has the Kiras code, or basically all the AI is happening here. And DroneNet Control it's the package which consists of the commands or, or this is the package which actually control commands for the Bebop drones. Okay? Uh, you can just follow this uh, uh, link and everything will be fine. And finally, uh, you need to bear in mind that you need to have uh, for the following dependencies installed. You need to have TensorFlow, 1.5, Keras and all that stuff. So, if you have followed the steps on the GitHub, you will end up with something like this, uh, which is pretty cluttered. You, we have a single terminal or we have multiple terminals for simple tasks. We have a terminal for takeoff, we have a terminal to display the image from the Bebop. So to declutter this, we came up with a few things. So let's go through that. Uh, most importantly, we wrote a Python script called Teleoptimist Keyboard, which assigns key to specific functions. So here you can see that one is assigned to takeoff, two is assigned to land, and WSDA is assigned to some cool flip and then finally, and most importantly, 9 is for starting the drone, drone net and 0 is to end drone net. Uh, this code is borrowed from GitHub. So the existing or the original code had all these moving around functions and we added to this. And here the logic is implemented. So if it finds that this key is for landing, that is 2, it's going to publish the land message and so on. And in addition to this script, we also made a launch file. Instead of having or running multiple launch files in different terminals, we can just run this in one terminal and everything will work. So we have a launch file from the DroneNet Perception package, a launch file from the DroneNet Control package. We have also running a node from the ROS run image view. We are also, of course, Im uh, importing the Teleop Twist keyboard Python script, which you just saw. So let's see it in action. So this is one terminal.
Okay, excuse, excuse me. No? Okay.